everybody, it's uh, Thursday, uh, late afternoon, early evening. It's hard to tell this time of year with the sun going down so quick. Uh, winter has uh, finally arrived uh, with a serious vengeance today. Um, I think we, got a, we, we didn't get out of the teens today. The wind chill uh, was below zero. The winds died down a little bit, but it still feels like, according to the last thing I checked, said it feels like it's three degrees, so... It's a cold, windy, dreary day outside today, so <clears throat> perfectly, uh, perfectly uh, fine day for a uh, heavy, dark uh, imperial stout, and I got one of the best today. I managed to pick up four, ca four uh, or two four packs of the Goose Island Bourbon County Stout. Uh, from the website it says brewed in honor of our thousandth batch at our original Clybourne brew pub a liquid as dark and dense as a black hole with thick foam the color of a bourbon barrel the nose is an intense mix of charred oak, chocolate, vanilla, caramel and smoke one sip has more flavor than your average case of beer true um, okay it says it's an imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels they don't say uh which uh, which uh, brewer or which uh, distiller or which barrels they use? Um, the website says 14.5 uh, percent. Uh, the bottle and everywhere else is 14.9 percent. So it's a big one. Uh, 60 IBUs. Um, say hops. They use Willamette malt. They use Turo, Munich chocolate, caramel, roast barley, and debittered black. So. Got your regular, got your special cap, Bourbon County Stout. Actually, technically it's Bourbon County brand stout, but everybody calls it uh, Bourbon County Stout. So let's get this in a glass. Special beer. I'm going to use a special glass. Going to use my Duval glass today. Get all the flavor out of it I can. Pour aggressively. Got a maybe a pinky of a chocolate brown head really foamy looking really creamy looking yeah that is black there is no light gets through that no lights gonna escape that that is black like a black hole I can tell from the way it poured uh, now I'm gonna get every drop out of this too I still got four uh, four bottles left of last year's I'm gonna Sometime in the near future, I'm gonna start pulling some pulling some stuff out of uh, out of the cellar and uh, trying to move some aging on them. So, uh, wow, just a beautiful, beautiful looking stout. So, let's get a nose on it. Okay, now you get you get that bourbon right up front. Um, cocoa, uh, getting a little, getting quite a bit of that 14.9% uh, alcohol. Might as well say 15%. Got some oak, some cherries. Um, the booze is there, but it's it's not really overwhelming. I mean, it's noticeable, but it's it's not overwhelming. Um, you got right in the back you, of the nose. You got some maybe some vanilla and some of that uh, that charred oak from the barrels, but just a really really nice nice smelling beer. Uh, uh, nice strong uh, nice strong aroma to it. Um, as you can see, the head is dissipated almost completely. There's just a, a thin ring around the edge. So let's get a taste on this. Oh, yeah, you're getting those roasted malts right up front, uh, some of that bourbon. Um, getting a good bit of alcohol heat on there, too. Some chocolate. Um, Vanilla, charred wood, molasses. Uh, hold on. Sorry about that. There was uh, somebody at the door, and then the phone started ringing in the, in the other room. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't anybody important. So, uh, anyway, yeah, back to the back to the taste on this. Um, hopefully, that'll give it a good chance to maybe it'll. A little extra time, give it a little chance to warm up uh, more. This is one you want to drink uh, 
drink a little warmer, not straight out of the fridge. I left the bottle out of uh, out of the fridge probably close to an hour before I even popped it open. But they do they do warm up quicker in in the glass and in the bottle anyway. But uh, yes, yeah, so this just I mean everything's going on here. Like I said, the roasted malts, the chocolate, the bourbon. Uh, Vanilla. I mean, there's tons of bourbon in this. Um, the charred wood from the barrels, uh, molasses. Um, you got some sweet chocolate, some bitter chocolate. Uh, definitely some of that boozy alcohol. Uh, as it warms up a little bit, the alcohol does come out a little bit more. But it's still for 14.9 percent. It's still still fairly well hidden. Um, I mean, this is a super complex beer. There's a lot going on here, but uh, despite the the complexity, it's it's really really well balanced. Nothing nothing overwhelms anything else. They're just uh, blended. Everything just complements each other. Um, a mouthfeel. It's a creamy, thick, smooth, uh, chewy. What can I say? Fantastic mouthfeel. Um, one of the one of the better better mouthfeels on a on a stout or any kind of beer that that I've ever experienced. Um, super thick and oily, just a little carbonation. Uh, um, the finish is kind of lingers a little bit, uh, a little extra long. Uh, when you get more of that charred oak and a little bit of that um, 60 IBUs of the hot bitterness and. Uh, some more bourbon too. Um, I mean, you get bourbon throughout, that's for sure. But it's Bourbon County, and that's what it is. So let me sit. I will sip on this a while. There won't be a lot gone. This is one that uh, this pro this glass will probably last me probably two or three hours. You don't want to drink more than one at a time at 14.9 percent either. So I'll be back after a while uh, with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been half an hour or so. Um, as you can see, there's not a lot gone. Uh, this you savor. You just enjoy. Uh, you're not. You're not going to chug this beer down uh, under any circumstances. I, I can guarantee that. Uh, this um, this is a world class brew. I'm I'm happy to say, at least so far, uh, since they've been since they were taken over by uh, AB and Bev. Uh, that at least the quality of their beers has not has not dropped off at all. Um, complex as hell, um, but balanced to, to near perfection. Um, tastes great. Um, smells like uh, smells like heaven. Um, I mean, it's you know just a beautiful mouthfeel. Um, just coach your whole mouth. Just oh, this is a damn near perfect beer. Um, if if there was a perfect beer, there there may be there may be others close to it. There may be some equal to it. Um, maybe the uh, that bourbon barrel quad that uh, that I uh, had from Boulevard is right up there with this one for sure. But um, I love this beer. Um, had it for the first time, was able to finally get it for the first time last year. Um, so, I still got four bottles from last year, so I'm going to pull one out here sometime in the near future and see what a, see what a year has done to it. But, um, I think you know what's coming. 10 out of 10 for uh, the 2013 edition of Goose Islands Bourbon County, technically brand stout. Everybody just calls it Bourbon County Stout. So... 10 out of 10. Till next time, everybody. Cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.